So before we put in our timber posts and our string lines, what we need to do is we need to level off this area. And as you can see, through this section here, we've got quite a bit of material to move. So now we've leveled out the site, I've put in these timber stakes and I've measured our final heights through this area using a level. Now we're just gonna run our string lines. We're gonna get the bottom height of our bottom sleeper. Then we're gonna get our finish height or our top height. So now that we've got our string line set, we're gonna go through and dig our holes. And that way, this gives us our top finish height for the top of our posts. So now we've got our post locations. The first step is die before you dig. Now once we know that there's no services in this area, we're gonna go through and excavate these holes to get our post ready for concreting. All right, so now that we've dug our holes, we've got our string line in for our top finish height. Now the depth of our hole is the height of our wall plus 100 mil. So in this case, we're going a 600 high wall. So we wanna go 600 plus the 100, which gives us that 700 mil depth. Now to mix up some concrete, we're gonna fill these holes in with a level and our posts to make sure they're level front and back as well as sideways. Remembering that measurement that we're going for in between the posts is 1520 to allow for that 10 mil between each end of our concrete sleeper. Right, so we've poured our concrete We've got our post in at the right height. We just wanna make sure that we've got our levels. So that as the concrete sets, we know that these posts are gonna be in the right spot for when it comes to sliding our concrete sleepers. So now we have these posts nice and level. We've just gotta wait and we'll come back tomorrow and we'll get our sleepers in place. All right, so now we've come back, we've concreted our posts. We've made sure they're nice and level and we're gonna put in our sleepers. But a quick tip, once we've concrete our posts all the way up, you just want to keep in mind that these ridges are 150, we're going to go four high. So we need to make sure that the top of this post to our concrete is 600. And that will allow us to make sure that our finish height is nice and level and flush with the top of our posts. When you're putting in your sleepers, line up the ends, and then just drop them down nicely. So now we've got our first sleeper in. We just want to check that level. Once you get your first sleeper spot on, nice and level, as we consecutively build these up, we're going to finish nice and flush with the top of our posts. All right, so we've put our first course around, and we're just going to get a few diagonal levels just to ensure that these sleepers are all running parallel and level to each other. And now we're ready to start building our planter box up. So now we put in our last ridgy sleeper. As you can see, all the heights are nice and even. So that's our planter box, built with our ridgy concrete sleepers.